Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And yes, we have a guest all the way from Ghana, Bon Michael Kweku Mafo Frimpong, also known as uh, Mike Ferley. He is a recording artist, music premier, and a model. Mike Ferley first discovered his budding musical prowess at the tender age of 14 when he joined the church choir and quickly emerged as one of the best lead singers in the choir. His music and style have been influenced by gospel music at a very early age, naturally ushered him into soul music music and R&B era of the 90s, thus accepting a, um, a fusion of the likes of Boys to Men, R. Kelly, Osha, Joe, Thomas, Trey Songs, Mario in his music. Initially, taking music, music was a hobby for Mike Feli, and he gained enough motivation from the welcoming comments and response from friends to reveal his exhilarating talent to a larger audience and fan base. In 2015, Mike Feli, Mike Feli hit the stage running with his captivating performances and amazing talents that saw him gain notable applause from his ever-growing fan base and admirers. Let us welcome the one and only Mike Feli, all the way from Ghana. Hey. Charlie, what happened? So, bro. I'm Charlie Adio. What do you think? Teach us how to speak a little bit of tree. How do I say, how are you doing in tree? It's saying, I think. It's just saying, it's just saying. Hey, I yeah. Think, I think your, your how how do we it. say, welcome to the show <laughs> in, saying, in tree? Yeah, thanks a lot, bro. How do we say, thanks welcome to the show? How do we say that? How do you say what? Come welcome again. to the show. Um, oh, yeah, welcome. Oh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to show. No? Okay. Welcome oh, yeah, to show. Oh, yeah, Akwaba. Hey, Akwaba. Eh, I don't know. Akwaba for sure. Akwaba, oh yeah, Akwaba for sure. Hmm. See, I might know yeah. about you, Seth. Hmm. My time in Ghana wasn't wasted, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. How you doing today, man? How you feeling? You did it. You, you're doing well. First off, I want to say congratulations for being alive at yeah, this. Yeah, I'm great. Uh, I'm um, feeling superb. Yeah. For being alive Thank in 2020, last month of 2020. Congratulations mm -hmm. to you, bro. We all made it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, man. I want to put that. him on the spot here yeah, a yeah, bit. Yeah. Before we even it's... dive into all your music and all of that, I noticed, you know, in research about you that you called yourself a ladies' man and all of that. And in the spirit of, of ladies' men, because we've been having some serious conversations on the table mm. before we brought you in, mm. I wanted your thoughts on being a celebrity, being a ladies' man. Is it possible for your industry men to stay faithful Especially when they're also involved with another celebrity, so there's busyness, there's all of that fame going on. Do you think it's legit possible to have a sane relationship amidst all that chaos? I think I think it's it's, it's a mindset thing, um, and yeah. it, it depends on how you want to take your music. If you you're all about um, the fame, you know, going around with different different girls, it's up to you. I can you can stop you, but um, if you if you want to be a guy who's, who's focused on the music and all, all, all you do is the music. I think you stick to one woman and you grow with that woman to where you want to get to. So for me, that's, that's my mentality about the whole thing. So what's yours right now? Are you the former or the latter? Hmm. Interesting question. I'm the, um, I'm the latter. Okay. I'm the latter. I've moved from that, that stage. I'm the latter now. Facts, oh, we oh. see Chance the Rapper, who's like a yeah, I wanna, yeah. To his... we've seen people like Swiss Beats mm. and Ali Shakiz. You know their their, their names. That's not a good example. He cheated. <laughs> he left his wife for Ali Shakiz. But uh... I think you think what? I think you, you see when they, in this game, one thing I want you, you, I want to understand, or you have to understand, is the the more focused you are, you don't really have time for certain things. You feel mm. me? It oh. depends on where where what you want to achieve. Me personally, I want to I want to get to a stage where my music is you know heard all over the world. So I, I, you stick to one woman and build build your empire with her is it's great. That's that's let's that's my perception. All right, so let's mentality. let's let's focus on what you have been up to. Like you said, um, I sense a lot of focus um, when it comes to you now and then focusing on your music, your brand, and what you want to become. Um, what have you been doing so far? I see. Yes, you're in Nigeria now. You know, doing an interview with us all the way from Ghana. You want your music yeah. to be global. So, um, what efforts are you putting in? 2020 hasn't been the best year for musicians or even creatives. What yeah. are you doing with your time right now that you can? And do all those other crazy things that we could do back in the days. You see, now everyone is, is gearing towards the online game now. You see, everything mm -hmm. is moving from the conventional way. Everyone is going online to uh, to uh, start a new business, you know, uh, create more links and um, get to know people across the world. So 
Um, I think for me, what I'm doing right now is really um, getting my online game you know, tight. Mm. Because yeah, you cannot keep doing the same old things, you know, because of what has, has happened currently in the world. Mm. The pandemic has really, really taken over a lot of things. You can't really um, think that the world is still the same. Mm. So, I mean, from what is happening now, um, I want to be more online, you know, to interact as much as I can, you know, start some online businesses here and there because that's the future. That's the future right now. I, I, I've noticed, and you, you are obviously, I'm, I'm, I stand to be corrected here, but sometimes it feels like, you know, Ghanaians already love one particular type of sound, you know, like they're quite, and even not just the sound from who it's coming from, like you're pretty sure that if, some, if certain people drop music, it is possible to, you know, this song is going to go big and all that. But when it's an upcoming artist, they're either not sure of the person or not really sure of the sound. Or if you're not in the, you know, in the big S and all of that. So I want to know from your perspective and your own journey, because yours is different from an upcoming artist. is different from the three S's. You know, everybody's own is different. But your journey, especially in Ghana and the climate that's there, which is obviously unique to Ghana, how has that been for you? Do you find it rece receptive? Like, are they receptive of your sound? Or do you have to kind of warm your way into the hearts of Ghana? I think it's, 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 for me, it's about understanding the, your location and where you are mm. as, as a whole. Uh, my, my music will definitely stand out because I don't, I don't really um, try to sound a tip, like a typical um, Ghanaian artist. I, I prefer to be more innovative with my right. song because, yes, the world is, is, the world is a global village now. Everyone mm. is listening to music from different, different types of the world. Great. So you have to be very strategic and know how best you can come out with good sounds. Mm that the world can vibe to. Because when you make it centered out on one country, you want to, you're going to be called a local champion. Yeah. Mm. That's the name we normally give to people who are just known in Ghana. Mm. But if you want to be known across the world, then you have to be very innovative and be strategic about how you, you know, come out with songs. So what me, that's where, I, where, that's where I stand. I prefer to you know, have a blend of different types of music to stand out in my, in my, in my field. So it's, it's the time for innovation now. All right, so, um, yeah. so that um, a lot of people will know that you are no local champion, we'll just take a quick break while we play <laughs> your music video so they can listen to your sound. So stick around and enjoy this video by Mike Fairley. Cause I want to get Shout it what you want Make it Cause I want to get Sika Sika Gogi Gogi Sika Sika Gogi Gogi Sika Sika Gogi Gogi Sika Sika Gogi she enter the center. Everybody they wonder. Does it do to distract the thunder? Only I guess you might go a gelemo, 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 My feeling check bone the wall, gelemo, 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 Bama na guess you Bama na guess you know me. Bama na guess you know me. Bama na guess you know me. Look for your check. Fall to my bed for me, the end of the way. The way they do your thing, you know Girl, make us see you, feel it, feel it. Hey. Show me what you want. Make a deal. Cause I want to get. Show me what you want. Make a deal. Cause I want to get. Sika, sika, go me. Go me. Sika, sika, go me. Girl. 
Show me what you want, make I do, cause I want you, girl. Sika, sika, boogie. That was a jam, Go Gay. And that was Mike Fairley, yeah. of course, and Go Gay. What's the meaning of Go Gay, by the way? You know, tell us about no, it. No, go, go Gay is from the Mike Fairley world. It's just about, you know, a, a beautiful African woman with a love, enough body, you know. And hmm. uh, yeah. all, all, <laughs> all Ghanaian women like that. <laughs> Majority. <laughs> mm. yeah. Majority, yeah. yeah. All right, so when you have a nice body, I can go, she got, she got, go gay. What did you say, she got, she got? Sharp, sharp. Or she got, she got, go gay. Which of them? No, she got, she got, she got, go gay. So money, money, hot body. Ha. Yeah, all, all I need. Yeah, money money for, the, for the body, you know. Money for the hot body. All right, great, great stuff. So, um, well, I love who does not have body, but... Well, I love who does not have money, too. <laughs> um, but... Movie, uh, I want to know more about what to expect. You've done the whole money and, and body. Some of us cannot obviously vibe to that because we don't have the facilities. But are there mm. other things that we should be expecting? Um, do you have a body of work that is coming along? Like, what you know, what's in your space right now? Yes, um, definitely I'm working on um, some one or two projects here and there. My EP will be launched next year. I was supposed to release it this year, but due to the current uh, situation in the world. So mm -hmm. I had to pause. So I just released my um, single, my first single of the EP. You know, it's already out there, you know, doing well. So um, definitely that EP is dropping next. So with some dope artists um, in the country as well. So you should, you should watch out, coming out soon. All right, you heard it here first from a man like Mike Feli. Thank you for joining us on the show. Mike Feli has been amazing and we're looking forward to yeah. your, you know, upcoming EP in 2021. Hope it's going to be a better year. Great, great year. Okay. We're we, we praying to God that everything goes for well. you know, The election is coming as well. Hallelujah. So we pray for peace and stability. Oh, yes. you know, everything Absolutely. just you know, goes well. That, you know, we have All a great right. time next year. Yeah. So before I let you go, I'm going to teach you how to say goodbye in Yoruba and it is Odabo. Odabo. So can you just tell your Nigerian Odabo. fans Odabo Charlie, real all quick? All the best, man. All the best. Thanks a lot. All right. God all right. bless, you know, Plus TV Africa. Keep all doing right. your, your best, you know. Bring out good entertainment, you know. God oh. bless you. Yes, Thank sir. You. Thank you so much for being here as yeah. well. And tea time will continue right after this break. Stay with us. <laughs> 